pass on the parking stone campsite. It's no more sure you can come. Hi there. At the moment we're uh, on the pig track. Just uh, left um, Penny Pass. We got the Sherpa bus from uh, down in Lamberis. It was the best way to to get up here realistically. A uh, good deal on parking in a farmer's field. And uh, The aim of this little expedition is to um, do a Snowden horseshoe. We're going to go up now, Crib Gok, do the ridge, uh, and then uh, make our way round, and then back down tomorrow. So we have a high level camp, hopefully around about 3,000 feet, and uh, get some lovely sunsets, maybe a nice dawn, and then. Uh, as I say, continue the, the, the horseshoe tomorrow. So at the moment we're just climbing up towards the first peak, which is a crib clock itself. And then the knife knife edge beyond that, three pinnacles. And I think it's Carnegie Ugin. Apologise if the pronunciation is wrong, it probably is. So uh, see you later. Hi guys, well that was a tough old walk, the pig pass from Penny Pass, pig pass, pig path I should say, my goodness, it's uh, stiffer than I remembered from a few years ago I must confess, but um, anyway we're about to veer off the pig path now and go up obviously towards Cribgok Mountain and then obviously the ridge beyond that, so there's, uh, there's Cribgok there, which is the first of four peaks we're going to do uh, on the horseshoe. Uh, Carnegie again, and then Snowden itself, and then E. Lewedel. Apologise again for the awful uh, pronunciation. We're having a little bit of a feed, a um, few uh, trail snacks, and then we're going to push on then. It's about a 900 foot scramble up here, and then you've got the knife edge. So, uh, yeah, we're getting there. So, uh, all good. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful scenery as well. Beautiful views. Lovely. See you later. Well, we're well into the scramble part now, Cribcock. My goodness. I tell you something, it's something you don't see on the videos is the actual scramble. It's, um, it's a bit like uh, Trafan, but less blocky. But it's a good old scramble. And uh, yeah, it's just part of the Snowden horseshoe, of course. You know, it's going to do the full horseshoe then, Cribcock. You know, with its scramble and its ridge has got to be done either at the beginning or the end. So. Uh, all going well, nice and steady. Three points of contact, remember, and uh, put tug on each rock before you uh, put your weight on it. But no, all good. See you later. We're about 2,700 feet now, so uh, about another 350, 400 feet, something like that. So uh, getting there bit by bit.
we've, once we've summited then the ridge and then we can camp then we don't have to go to Carnaloo then we can we can leave it till tomorrow Hi, the summited uh, Kribgoch, the mountain. There's the guys heading across the ridge now, the knife edge ridge of Kribgoch, with the pinnacles beyond the knife edge. So uh, we've got about an hour before we're going to get benighted, so we're going to camp the other side of the ridge on the slopes of Garnadugan. Uh, so uh, I'll see you later. And that was a tough climb, by the way. My goodness, what a tough climb that was. up tents are pitched so um, get some food down on X and uh, get a head down for a few hours before the sun comes up we're at about 2,800 feet 2,870 something like that so we're pretty high and um, you know it's, uh, it's beautifully still really for this height magnificent views over the Snowden horseshoe and the massive itself so looking forward to seeing it in the uh, in the morning so, uh, see you in a bit. Morning. It's uh, 0500 and uh, I'm about to go outside and see if I can see the sun come up. about camping high level is there's very very little water from there to for a dry spell like that. So kind of doing the scrambling we're doing you don't really want to be carrying too much with you we bought about two and a half litres each but um it's surprising how quickly you get through it on the day you know uh, free supply now and that allow us then to carry on around the whole so anyway I'm gonna get that brew on so uh, see you later yeah, for those of you who are interested, the uh, obviously that's the Van Gogh Falls 10 Mark III, um, and this is a Coleman Bedrock 2. That's a decent little tent, um, modern design, double double entry, double porch. You know, two at a push, one man tent, and uh, to be honest, it's doing doing the job. Wow, excellent job. It's one of the team just woke up. Sky, mega job on the, uh, on the ridge last night. John's gone down to uh, get water, as I said before, so we'll see him later. Great. 
See you in a bit. coffee some porridge so just having a uh, a little bit of a wander around the campsite really before we uh, drop the tents and uh, carry on around the Snowden horseshoe okay drop the uh, tents and uh, <laughs> cleared away leave no trace there it is again just a bit of flattened grass so uh, it's as if you've never been here. So uh, okay, let's um, let's climb up uh, Carnadugan, peak number two of our Snowden horseshoe. Oh, there's our friend. There he is. Come to see if there's anything left, but there isn't. See you later. Dugan, second highest mountain in Snowdonia. Snowden itself, the highest of course. E Whittle. Fluid. Fourth mountain in the horseshoe as we're doing it, as we're going anti-clockwise. And of course, Kribgoch with his infamous ridge, which is just there on the pinnacles. Magnificent views. You can see the glitters across the uh, valley. Wow, beautiful. Hard work though, <laughs> but lovely. Hey, can't do gig. Wow. field so uh, that was hard work our scree fields are so um, we're going to stop now refill the water at a little lake ahead I'll just show you what I can see yeah there's the guys that's gonna refill the water bottles with a filter and then it's the last peak of the day why a little it's a hot day today as well Ooh, it is now but uh, all going well see you later my dirt tan's getting a lot better <laughs>
Hi. Well, here we are then. It's uh, four of four, and uh, there it is. Summit of uh, E. Whittle, Le Whittle. Apologies again for the pronunciation. And it's uh, going good. It's got a nice scramble, albeit hard with tired legs. But uh, John's uh, pushing on. You see him in the distance there. Where is he? There he is. He's uh, looking for uh, a sensible route up. And. Uh, once we make this, it's descend all the way. So, uh, whew. wow, sorry, Snowden sorry. Horseshoe, big time. <laughs> time for a water break. Wow, this last 50, 60 meters is uh, nice, solid scrambling. That's great one, scrambling, but when you're tired, it makes it seem really hard. Oh there. Ooh, well, we're down. But a mile to go to the car park. Um, it's uh, basically used to the horseshoe path. Oh, not there's much of a path here. Really. Joins the uh, the uh, miners' path. So we get about a mile now to the car park. So uh, yeah, the horseshoe is completed. A high level ridge walk, uh, about 10 miles in all. Um, hell of a lot of scrambling. Um, surprise is Kripgok is a big scramble, not just the ridge. The ridge is obviously, you know, a hairy knife edge ridge. But um, there's a bit more to it than that, uh, which you don't often see. Um, and also the, the ridge that leads up to the, on the shoulder of uh, Karnadugin. Again, is a tough ridge, tough scramble as well. That takes it out of you. Snowden itself, of course, isn't so bad. But obviously, when you go up Karnadugin, you just follow the Amberis Pass up to the, to the summit. Lots of crowds, of course. And then, of course, you've got a big scree field then coming down the backside of Snowden. Is, uh, tricky, scree is always tricky to navigate. And once you get down there, then you got to uh, tackle the uh, again good solid um, scrambling on um, E Luid, which is the fourth mountain on the horseshoe. And of course, the tired legs, low energy levels makes it really really tricky. So uh, other than that, if he was on a day sack, scrambling up there with fresh legs, it would be excellent, it'd be perfect. And then you've got a, a bit of a monster scramble down then. Um, to get down to the, uh, the minus track where we are now. So, uh, epic. Ridge walk of the epic. The wind is awful, I know. Okay, I'll see you a little bit later and I'll sign off. Thanks. Hi there. I thought I'd just sign off now anyway. Um, 
just round the corner from uh, Penny Pass car park and uh, and the bus deck to the car. So, uh, whew, that was epic. Snowden horseshoe, wow. Rock and roll. <laughs> cool though, it's really beautiful. And absolutely epic scenery, epic mountains. But anyway, thanks for uh, for watching. Hope you enjoy it, which is all you did. Uh, thanks to the crew for accompanying me. We've got Sky and John. Um, great company, great climbers. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Take care, bye.